Mali is making effort to reintegrate former members of armed groups into society as it launches a disarmament, demobilization and reintegration program in the city of Gao. It follows a peace agreement signed in 2015 after several years of conflict. The program entails a process of taking ex-combatants out of their groups and encouraging them to participate in the peace process. We get more in this report from Channel Television in Nigeria. United Nations peacekeepers in Mali are working with national institutions to implement the disarmament, demobilization and reintegration program in Gao, a city in the northern region. It's a process which allows veteran fighters and armed groups to drop their weapons and be integrated into the regular army or into civilian life. This segment today is the official launch, a launch which has a great significance because there are members of different groups who are signatories of the agreements who are all here supporting the process by their presence. The event is attended by representatives of the government, Deputy Special Representative of the Secretary General, Mbaranga Gazarabwe, and leaders of armed groups. It is expected to be another important step towards the return of stability in northern Mali. This is a historic moment. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize the willingness of Malians to launch this process of accelerated disarmament into the defense and security forces. It took a while, but we are acting at the right time. Ex-combatants will be taken through orientation and vocational training programs aimed at helping them reintegrate into the society and become active participants in Mali's peace process. Mali, a huge Sahel country, still faces jihadist threats despite more than five years of the international military intervention. Well, that report was filed by Channels Television in Nigeria.